Welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you what I've learned over the past couple of weeks which have helped me tremendously with the, through this lockdown and maybe it can help you too. Let's go. Welcome one and all, my name is Donato and welcome to today's video where as you can see I've learned to do something totally different with what's been going on with lockdown and quarantine and all that type of stuff. I thought it'd be something great to share with you guys and maybe it can help you as well because it's something that I've literally just been doing for a couple of weeks now and it's helped me tremendously so much so that it's kept me in a more calmer, more centered because sometimes with things that's going on now there's so much information and stuff going on it can get quite stressful and it's Qi Chong or is it Qi Gong? Qi Gong? See, I can't even get to pronounce it correctly, but uh, it's spelled Q-I-G-O-N-G. See, I think it's Qi Gong, and it's sort of an adaption from Tai Chi and yoga. And I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. And what I'm going to do is take you through just five things that I've uh, learned, five moves. And there are literally hundreds and hundreds of moves. So I'm just going to take you through from a perspective as a beginner, as myself, novice so I'm going to take you through some of the moves it's not going to be perfect so I, I can give you some caveats in regards to this video and I'd love to hear your comments views and so on in the, the comments below is that I'm new to this I've only been doing it a couple of weeks I can leave a link to and you can google you know qigong and uh, how it helps it helps in so many ways not just in terms of stress but it helps boost the immune system um, Although I'm not a medical doctor, I think we can almost take it for common sense. Granted, if we reduce the amount of stress, that will help boost our immune system and help us be more resistant to catching various bugs, viruses and so on. But that's more of a side benefit. For me, it's tremendous and I tend to fit this in because people often say, where are we going to fit this in? It's essential to do this every day. And I'm just getting ready. I'm getting up now. As you see, my hair's all over the place. And uh, I'm just getting up ready to go for my run. I'm in my run gear. Obviously, I will put some shoes on. Don't worry, I won't go barefoot running. But, uh, and I fit this in just before any of my runs, or if I'm not doing a run on that day, it's when I get up. Um, so I've had some uh, herbal tea, and then I, and it takes about 10 minutes. There's only five moves, and I'm gonna take you through those particular five moves and explain a little bit, but it's all about the breathing. So for me, and, uh, and in terms of how it works, it's essential that I've found that the breathing is through the nose, so, and breathe out through the mouth. That's one of the key things, but also I need to stress, if you are new to this, and you've only just stumbled upon my channel, so welcome, hello, that I give the caveats on all these videos where I give some guidance and instructions, that if you are new to this, to please consult with your medical practitioner, your general practitioner, whoever your doctor is, and check because if you have any ailments or injuries or anything like that, that it's worth checking before you start this. Because when you look through the moves, you might look at it to start with, not try it straight away, which is great. Have a look at what I do. There may be some things, depending on what you have or may not have or not aware that you have, it could cause some uh, discomfort or pain. And uh, really, it's, it's here to help us to become I say more stress-free, more flexible. It helps, there's so many more benefits that I won't bore you that, I'll just crack straight on and start doing, as I say, there's the five moves. So I'm gonna stand up, move the camera, and let's go. Okay guys, here we are in the getting ready to start. So the first thing you do is get into a ready position. So basically, it's uh, plant the feet comfortable, knees slightly bent, and as I need to stress, this is how I'm doing it. As a, as a novice beginner, I've only been doing it a couple of weeks, so it may not be exactly perfect. So for those of you who are Qigong or Tai Chi specialists and so on, then uh, please don't critique me because I'm just a beginner. I'm just here to show you as an introduction to this. So we get into the ready position and uh, feel quite comfortable. And as I said before, starting any of this, it's essential to uh, check with your GP, medical practitioner, that you're okay to do things. So I'm just getting into the groove. 
and feeling really good and planted my feet so that it's essential that the feet are nicely grounded and it feels firm, strong, strength all the way through. So the first exercise, as I said, I'm going to go through five. So the first one is the opening exercise. And what you may find with a lot of these exercises, as I say, it's related to Tai Chi and yoga, is they might have other names, words and so on. But I'm just going to use the descriptions that I've discovered through uh, looking at various channels and what they call it. So it may not be perfect, it may not be right, but it's what I do. But it's essential, just follow me with the exercises. So number one is the opening exercise where we take a nice long deep scoop up and down. Now I've showed you the move there, but when it comes to the breathing, it's a breathe in and out through the mouth. In and out. So two more. Feeling good? So the second exercise called the swinging arms. Now I need to stress this is not an exercise where you're just swinging the arms like this. It's all about moving through the body. So it's just gentle breathing through the nose. So for those of you who do golf, this is very similar to golf. The old swing four. So it's just using the momentum of your body and flowing, going with the flow, breathing in and out. When I started this a few weeks ago, all my vertebrae would be clicking and clunking. Now they feel really smooth, there's no real clinking or clunking, despite my age, and it feels really good. So it's using the body and swinging through, and back to the center and relax. Shake it out, shake it up. Shake it up, uh, uh, shake it up. Yeah, you don't have to sing whilst you're doing this, but it helps. So, feeling good, yeah, so that was number two. Number three is called the chest opening, and this really opens out the chest tremendously and helps get the air into the lungs. And here we go. In. And out. So it's taking the air right in and stretching right out, pulling it out, hands wide, and then pushing it back in. Out. So it's pulling the chi up and out, keeping the hands out. And close. <sighs> Two. 
two more. Shake that out. Feel real good. Now for the next move, this is called a Dan U. <laughs> I know that's for all the Dans out there, but no, it's, I didn't come up with that name. It's Dan U. Yeah, maybe I'm Dan. Who knows? Get your feet in position now because it's ba this is basically a Qigong of squats. So we're going to be doing squats. So we need to ensure that our feet are positioned so that when we be, bend our knees, that our knees are bending in line with the feet. So not to, so they're like that and then they bend all over, you know, but, uh, or too wide and it's bending in. You need to get it in a position where it's just right, a bit like the three bears where it's just right, and the knees bend down and they're in line with the feet. So now you've found the right position, we now start the uh, Danube moves. And again, as we go up, we breathe in, and then coming down into the squat, we breathe in out. So it's a in and out. When you're doing this first time, it may feel uncomfortable, difficult. So you can use chairs or things to balance on the side to help with the balance. But as I've been doing this quite a bit and with my fitness level, it feels really good, really comfortable getting right into the squat there and then Two more. And relax. Chill out. Feeling good? Now this is the last move, five of five. And this one is called compressing the chi. Yeah, so feeling nice and good, comfortable, feet planted firmly. And again, when we go up, it's breathing in deeply. I don't know how the breathing is sounding because obviously the microphone's over there. So I could have done with a uh, lapel mic, which I don't have. And uh, you could hear my breathing more, but uh, more comments about. Ah, uh, I think the uh, setup there on the, uh, on the GoPro after a certain amount of filming time said it, it just stopped so I must have gone over whatever time limit it was because I've not done this before filming so long on one particular session anyway going back to the final move this is compressing the chi staying calm and relaxed and as I was saying that I don't know how the breathing's come along maybe a lapel mic would have helped but um, it's breathing in on the up and then out on the down so compressing the chi So scooping up the chi and then compressing it down. Pressing it right down to the ground there. Two more. And 
And that's it guys. Feeling good? Hope you enjoyed that. Let's get back to sit down and a quick summary about these moves. So there you have it guys. That's those five, five basic moves as a beginner and it's fantastic and I feel great, ready for my run now. And uh, yeah, you can incorporate it however you want throughout the day. But the key thing with, with Qigong is it helps with strength and flexibility, as well as all sorts of other benefits. And as I mentioned, this is just five moves. Apparently there are literally hundreds and hundreds of Qigong moves. So if you really want to get into it, you can go through a whole world of discovery. But for me, right now, I feel comfortable just doing that every day, first thing in the morning. And sometimes I might do it at lunchtime as well. You can do it as many times as you want each day, but the key essential item for this is that we do it every day. It's a discipline to do every day. Whilst I may not go running every day or cycling every day, or you know, I do some form of walking or a little bit of exercise each day, this becomes, for me, has become part of my daily routine and has helped me tremendously in all those things. So hopefully you found this a benefit, useful, usefulness. If it was useful, and maybe you want to share it with other people because I want to spread the word of how good this is. And it's great for beginners. I say for me, I've only been doing it a couple of weeks and I thoroughly enjoy it and I'm already reaping the benefits. I may have mentioned, I know I shared it at the beginning, but in terms of my stress level, my rest heart rate has gone to around the 42, 43, really low. And I think one of the days it was 41 beats per minute. So I think in terms of my rest heart rate, that's sort of shown that despite all the things that's going on in the world right now, I'm still able to remain centered, calm and relaxed. And as you see now, I feel great, you know, and I'm ready to go out there, do that run and enjoy it. As I say, if you have enjoyed it in some way, please do share this amongst you with all your friends and family. I've passed um, the, this link to all my friends and saying we need to get into Qigong because it really does help. And, uh, and I hope it helps you too. And if it has helped you in some way, then also please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Donato and this has been an introduction to Qigong. Let's go. Run time. <laughs>